Alright guys, this is going to be an EOC barrels guide. This barrel guide shows you how to do barrels without using any food or prayer pots. Now, the main thing about this guide is that you're going to be playing to the strengths of the combat triangle. As you see, I do have a full melee set with me, a full range set with me, and a full magic set equipped. Now, what you need to remember is that you need to bring all four spells, uh, water, wind, earth, and fire, because each of the brothers has a different weakness. The first brother we're going to be killing is going to be uh, Darok, and his weakness is fire. Now the best way to kill all the melee is going to uh, be to CC them, so you can run away and hit them from a distance. The move that helps us do this is impact. Now as soon as he spawns, go ahead and use impact, and he should be stunned, there he goes, and just run away and start using all your other moves, building up to your threshold abilities. He does go down pretty quickly. In EOC, it seems like everybody's damage output is way higher. Alright, there we go. And there we go, without using prayer and without even getting hit once. Now, never use an ultimate ability because as soon as you get out of uh, one of their crypts, you want to be able to use regenerate to recuperate all your health before going to the next brother. This is what keeps you from using any food. Now, um, the next one we're going to be doing is going to be Guthins, and his weakness is air. So just go ahead and go down there. And he's going to be the same way. You're going to use impact and just uh, hit him from a distance. There he goes. He spawns. Go ahead and use impact. There you go. Now, sometimes this does not work. Sometimes impact just splashes and he just keeps attacking you. But it doesn't matter anyways because he doesn't hit harder on you. The reason he doesn't hit hard on you is because, like I said, we're playing against uh, their weakness, which is magic. And magic armor in EOC gives the best melee defense. So. And there he goes. Alright. Don't forget to use regenerate as soon as you're out of combat. The next brother is going to be uh, Torag. Doesn't matter which order you do these in, but this is the most uh, sufficient way I've found. Now for Torag, uh, it is water, that is his weakness, so let's climb down, and same thing, start off with impact, just go ahead and run away from him, there he goes, and there we go. <laughs> yeah, all the other guys I, uh, I've been watching lately have been saying to use prayer and you can only do a few chests at a time, but with this method you can stay here all day without even having to bank once. There he goes. Next brother is going to be Varrock, and his weakness is Earth. We're going to use Regenerate. There we go. Let's go over here. And there we go. Come on. There we go. And just kill him from a distance again. And this move also stuns them, so as soon as you have that threshold ability, make sure to use it. This will also keep them from attacking you. Alright, here goes. Next one is going to be Kirill's, and for Kirill, since he's ranged, we have to use melee. Now, uh, this will be the brother that's probably going to hit the most on you, because you can't just hit him and attack him from a distance. So go ahead and just pull on my melee set. Go to my melee action bar. There we go. Alright. Oh, he's my tunnel. Alright, next one is going to be a rim, which is going to be the last one before we head into our tunnel, and for him it's going to be range. My, there we go. Right, let's go down. I'm using a short bow and rune arrows because his weakness is arrows. In the description, I'll leave uh, a list of items of which I use. Alright. Definitely takes the longest to kill, but I mean, he usually never does any damage. So. There we go. A lot of people is doing barrows today. Alright. 
time to go into our dungeon. Oh, oh there we go. And don't bother with the move snipe because it takes a long uh, time to uh, charge up and I mean it really doesn't even hit that hard. It's better just to keep spamming your uh, basic abilities until you get the threshold. Alright, since uh, we're going to be going into Kirill's and he is uh, ranged, we're going to be using melee. So go ahead and put on my melee gear. Alright. <laughs> oh, make sure to put my melee abilities on too. There we go. Alright, let's go ahead and look for the main crypt door. Do you remember sometimes he does just spawn randomly? So one time you open a door and he'll be right there. Oh, there's my crypt door. At the end of the video, I'll, I'll leave a list of all the puzzle answers too. There we go. Alright, run over here. Alright, let's get him to spawn. There we go. He's definitely going to do the most damage on me, but since I'm in the crypt, you can just attack mobs afterward to get your adrenaline up and use regenerate. actually didn't hit me that much this time, surprisingly. Alright, make sure you use regenerate. There we go. Alright. Alright, just go ahead and loot your chest then. Uh, I got nothing this time too. This is just all the loot I've gotten from a few chests when I was testing out this setup. Alright guys, well thanks for watching and have fun doing barrows.